Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this gold and purple spotlight eye using the Be Perfect Cosmetics palette. So the first shade that I'm going to dip into is this peachy shade called Foolish and I'm going to use a large flat barreled fluffy brush and just apply that all over the crease in a round shape. I'm not going to wing it out. And then using the same brush, I'm going to dip into this shade called Wifey, and we're gonna bring that slightly lower, but still keep it in the crease. So I'm going to dip into the shade Wasted, this purple shade, using a smaller flat barreled brush. And we're again gonna keep that in the crease, but lower. And using your first brush, just gonna soften that line. And a really good trick for getting the colour really bright and really pigmented without getting fall down is to load up your brush with a good amount of colour press it where you want it on the skin and then you kind of wiggle your brush so it's not actually moving over the skin it's, it's moving the skin itself like that your product from your brush will be laid down on the skin and it'll kind of stick to the skin. So you just want to build up that purple until you're happy with the color payoff. And then this is probably the hardest part, but not as hard as you think it is. So just bear with me. So now we're ready to carve out the crease. The product that I'm going to use is this concealer. It's from LA Girl and it's in the shade Natural. So pop some onto a flat concealer brush and pop the concealer near your lash line. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look right back. And that is going to leave a little crease for you there, exactly where you're gonna cut that out. You get your guide of exactly where you're gonna go. So from that line, we're gonna blend down with the concealer. And if you find your bristles are splaying out like that, use either a palette or the back of your hand and get them nice and tight again. We want that line really sharp. So the bristles need to be really, really tight together. Okay, so we're not finished our blending yet, but I just want to show you this little line that I've carved out on both eyes. I kind of want the top of that to be like a mushroom cloud. So I want it nearly to be like, do you know the way the shape of like a hurricane or a tornado? So it's wider at the top and tapers in. That's the shape that we're going for. So nearly like a triangle, if that makes it easier. And you want to take your time with this part. So once you're happy with the shape that you've carved out on your lid, you're going to begin to blend the edges. I always blend by tapping with my finger and then I go in with a brush. I feel like it helps the concealer to be less tacky, less wet, so that when I do go in with the eyeshadow, it's not going to come out more pigmented over that area than it is in the rest. Sometimes eyeshadow can stick to concealer when it's just freshly laid down, so I find that this helps to prevent that. And then using a small brush, we use that shade Wasted and we're gonna blend it back inwards. So next I'm going to go in with this shade Chant using my small crease brush and I'm just gonna deepen the very edges. So the last shade that I'm gonna add is this gold called Queenie. Using that same flat concealer brush, I'm gonna add a drop of Duraline by Inglot. This is like a mixing medium. It makes eyeshadows that tiny little bit more intense. So I've just added a drop to the brush and I'm actually gonna wipe it on the back of my hand. Anyone that's used Duraline before will know that you literally need the brush to be the tiniest bit wet. It doesn't need to be soaking wet. And add a tiny bit of wasted back in over that. So I just went ahead and I applied the colour to my lower lash line, but what I've also done, dip into that gold shade Queenie, I put a tiny bit into my lower lash line, just in the centre, and then I brought that out, and now I'm just literally going to pop on some mascara and some lashes. So that is it from me for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think of this look. Will you be trying this look out? How many looks have you tried out from your carnival palette? Are you getting the full use out of it? Let me know. 
Let me know, is this series helpful or giving you any inspiration of what to do with your palette? So until the next time, I will see you soon. Bye.